Hello everyone, Solstice here, and I'm going to tell you about the stuff that I've come up with for putting the newer doors to better decorative use. Now here is one of my first ideas, which was um for the acacia door. I should just toss these, anyway. So I was thinking, like, a modern home, open feel... Lots and lots of windows, some spruce wood floor. Spruce wood floor is usually pretty good a lot of the time, actually, for a lot of builds I've noticed. Or at least for me personally, when it comes to houses. Some stained clay walls, maybe um, some quartz in the ceiling. This is a fancy light design I came up with a while back. If you haven't, um, seen the video that is from where I practice various decorative ideas you should probably check that out I'll link it in the description below um, here's my idea for the jungle doors now when I seen these I was thinking mm, something kind of like an open feeling door design so Either something of that sort, or something of like um, a household that has seen some history and some custom works. Like, um, I'm sure some of you guys have seen that in movies, where it's like um, tons of stuff everywhere, every single painting, and <laughs> maybe even every single flower pot has like some sort of unique story to it, some unique bit of history to it. Like, this guy, he invented the toothbrush. And he always brought it with him to battle because he cared that much about his dental. Or this guy invented the Game Boy. Y y you don't know. But point is, that is actually kind of a thing. And this is basically my idea for one of the various ways to use this kind of door. And here is my idea for the spruce door. Sort of a dungeon-y thing. Maybe like castle. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good with that. Like torches, stone brick, smooth stone. All in all, I liked this idea for it. And it was the immediate first thing I came up with. Especially when you like look at this part of the doors. Like it looks like um some. It looks like one of the older style doors you would expect in the Middle Ages, where instead of knobs, like, all circular around, it's like a ring. You just, like, grab it by the ring, pull it open. Um, this was my idea for the birch doors. Like, these seem like a bit of, like, a modern thing, a bit of a still kind of open feel, but... The ironic thing about these is that you can't really see through them. That part I wasn't really sure about, but I was thinking maybe like someplace like really bright and decently modern, like tall windows, a pretty bright setup. I wasn't really sure what to do for a roof, um, so I just sort of tried something. I was just, this was a bit of experimentation. I really don't know what I would do with these doors myself, but they do exist, and likewise, I should probably try to figure out how to put the best of use to them. Now, on the other hand, these were the easiest ones to put a use to. I was excited for these. This is like mansion type stuff. The um, dark oak doors. These are without a doubt my favorite. And I even, uh, Dark Oak Fence, I'm, I'm very excited for the Dark Oak stuff. I especially want to put it to use in making a mansion and such. Like, mansion, villa. Let's see, I know there's like another thing. But whatever, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty much immediately what I came up with once I've seen this as a thing. And I was very, very eager about it. I was very excited. <sighs> this is going to be very, very enjoyable. Let me tell you that much. 
Then I noticed with all these becoming like more decorative, I figure the likeliness of someone actually resorting to typical doors, probably a log cabin. Like a hard worked, done yourself place, basically. Like it shows the hard work and shows durability and structure, something of that sort. And then the iron door, pretty much the um, practical door locks you in or something, or locks you out. Lots of iron. Basically a place that makes you think, damn, I can't get through yet. Oh no, I really do like iron doors for their color yet, but... <sighs> Just the way to open them, I dislike. Like, uh, you need a redstone source of power, or just anything that causes redstone power. And I find that kind of annoying. Like, I want to just be able to go, r like, right click, go through, right click back. Like, that's usually what I typically do. I don't forget it. Like, I know some people are like that, but I just don't normally. And that just makes this kind of troublesome to me. So I'm definitely going to be looking forward to these for sure. <laughs> like, when I do more survival stuff, I'm just going to resort like hell to these. <laughs> They're so beautiful. They're well textured, very modern. Yeah, th these are definitely the way to go for me. I'm excited. Okay, I should stop uh, doing stuff to the door. But anyways, these are some of my ideas that I've had for um, working with the doors and even a bit of some decorative ideas. Like, as you can see, I've been trying some ideas for house designs. Or even just like interiors for houses. Um, for this one, a bit of the exterior. I put the exterior into consideration, which has canceled out a few ideas for colors for blocks here. I was, I really messed around on this one, but I'm still not quite so happy with it. Something about the roof with these colors. I'm just not sure. Maybe spruce. Hmm. If you have any ideas or suggestions, we'll appreciate. Please um, leave them in the comments below, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am Solstice. Have a good day. Bye-bye.